congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. Congratulate the peacemaker. You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil! Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. You. Are. My. Idol! I didn't. Flint! Paper! Hiya, fellas! Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive P.I. business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? By the secret sideburns of Isaac Asimov! My Matron 9000! Destroy Simon Max! Destroy Simon Max! Act 2, Matron! That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass! It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. We keep everything filed under S. For stuff. Keep up the good work, Leonard. Jesse James's shooting hand. A souvenir from our takedown of the Toy Mafia. Brady's fro must be at least 60% dust mites and skin flakes at this point. It's the former president's dismembered head. Collect all 43! Our broken reality 2.0 goggles. We never should have let that deadbeat Jimmy Two Teeth sublet. Pardoned? Have you been abusing your presidential powers again, Max? That depends on what your definition of abuse is. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Essential for interrogating perps and telling spooky ghost stories. I always wondered what the nation's president keeps in his desk. You don't want to know, Sam. Trust me. The nerve center of our entire crime-stopping operation. I see that America's next white noise is still on the air. I voted for bendy images and the sounds of gravel being poured down a toilet. We really should get rid of that VCR, Sam. It eats tapes! So do you, but I don't think about throwing you out with the trash. Often. For very long. A prismatology blistacular shade a month calendar. This month is fabulous! 
Too bad it doesn't sing a little tune and tell you to do things anymore. It, it, it doesn't? Mariachi frogs pose just as they appear in nature. I'm worried, Max. Worried that enormous black mole on your back might be malignant? Well, I am now. I was just worried that the giant robot was going to tear down our building. How are things going with your presidency? The winds of progress are blowing swift and juicy, Sam. I'm proudest of the new law I just pushed through Congress. I'm pretty sure he who smelt it dealt it was already established during the Eisenhower administration, little pal. Max, have you been messing with the Constitution again? I can't find the Fifth Amendment. I refuse to answer on the grounds that it may incriminate me. I never would have expected Mr. Spatula to turn evil. It's always the quiet ones. I enjoy our little chats. Anything for a friend and registered voter. He's tearing apart the entire building. Tripe nachos on a pickle juice sludgy. I must have been sleep snacking again. I haven't done that since I was asleep at camp and somebody put my hand in warm beef fat. Max? All right, I admit it. But the look on your face was classic. It's our Salvia Hispanica Brady Culture Head. Safe and fun gardening at home with no threat of legal action due to trademark infringement. Max chatting with the former president before violently decapitating him. Our right photo from Hugh Bliss's roller coaster. Max just couldn't resist flashing the camera. Good morning, angels. For your next case, you'll have to go undercover, deep undercover, as queens of the roller rink. Bosley will have all the details. Good luck, angels, and knock them dead. I gotta stop moonlighting. Yes, this is President Ma I mean, this is I.P. Greenway. Do you have Leonard Stick Charmer in the closet? <laughs> then you should see a doctor about that. <laughs> no, wait. Let me start over. Max, prank calls only work when you call someone besides us. This is the only phone number I can remember, Sam. <laughs> I'm looking for Amanda Beaten Pummel. Wait, I got it. This phone table is the most useless thing on God's green earth. Sam, I forgot how to open the closet again. Okay, the second most useless thing. It's filled with Max's receipts from the tanning parlor. We should just accept we'll never teach that chimp to be a darts grandmaster. At least he's improving. Banana peels are a lot better than what he used to fling at it. Max's entire costume for his nationally televised Salute to America pageant. Highest ratings ever for both the TV networks and the American Psychiatric Association's emergency helpline. We didn't see you at all last year, Flint. What gives? I had one hell of a crazy case, fellas. Boiling a conspiracy in the movie biz, matching wits with a reanimated Grover Cleveland, breaking up Ascension cell phone network, and a showdown with a cult leader on Saturn Sergeant Moon! Wow! How come we never get to do cool stuff like that? Hey, Flint. Want to help us beat up a robot? Sorry, fellas. I got a tough case and a couple of rubes to crack here. You guys can handle yourselves. That flint paper. Inspiring, even in his unhelpfulness. You know, Flint, this robot's not gonna defeat itself. I didn't beat this goon half to death with the other one just so I could play rope a dope with Robomope. I kill you! You're on your own, boys.
What goes up must come down. Why are you fools making all that damn racket? Just to tell you once again who's bad. Police. Good arm on that one. I'm gonna tear your playhouse down pretty soon. He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle-of-the-road pop music is impeccable. Never a dull moment, eh, Max? We are going to stop that giant robot from destroying our building, or die trying! Die? Really? Did I say die? I'm sorry, I meant kill. I always get those two confused. Let's get to work. Oh. This parking meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. Part of our neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I won't rest until our entire neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I can't reach his wind-up key from here. I've lost that loving feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind-Up Toy of Destruction, sir. Yes? I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! It's trouble, all right. Would you stop doing this, please? If you start me up, if you start me up, I'll never stop. Huh? I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. Which raises the question, would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? We'd like you to stop tearing apart our neighborhood. Sir, look, great good times, come on. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Put down the building and come peacefully, and only one of us needs to get hurt. I answer to no authority but that of my mechanized will. I've got to go where I want to go. Do what I want to do. Seriously, you're under arrest. We're police. All the cops in the donut shop say, way ho, way ho, way ho, way ho. That's it! No one quotes walk like an Egyptian to me and lives! Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Yes, and yes. We're gonna report you. What's your serial number? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I can't take much more of this, Sam. I fought the law and the robot won. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot? Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. Ah. Why are you doing this? I have no choice. The dictates of existential philosophy are clear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. Kierkegaard? Close. Devo. Do you have free will? There is no such thing as free will. We do only what we are predetermined to do. Hey, robot! Would you be available as a witness for my next war crimes trial? I should have free time after I destroy you both. Great! Does might make right? It might. He's right. What if everything is an illusion and nothing exists? That theory was refuted by the ancient Australian philosopher Newton John, who said, let's get physical, physical, I want to get physical. It's all so complicated. Could God create a kidney stone so large that even he couldn't pass it? Of course, an omnipotent God can, by definition, create anything he can conceive of. My question, can anyone set up a joke so obvious that even you would not take it? Does. Not. Compute. Why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay, and lovers await the break of day? Oh. Ah, 
I've spent too many cycles processing this query. I might as well face it, I'm addicted to shove. Karma, 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 chameleon. Excuse me, Mr. Mametron. Yes? I want to ask you something. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Do they? Fascinating. Can there be a creature whose existence depends solely on its proximity to an observer? There's only one way we can go from here. That's the spirit, Sam! Excuse me, Mr. Mametron. Yes? I want to ask you something. Who wrote the Book of Love? I wonder, wonder, wonder who. This parking meter could withstand anything. Excuse me, Mr. Mametron. Yes? I want to ask you something. Do you believe in life after love? Hmm. I've never heard the question posed quite that way before. trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites. I hope he didn't fall on anybody important. Well, we'd better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle-cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup-covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god! Santa Claus!
Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? What the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, hey look, Max. It's the soda poppers. Again. We thought you'd all gotten taken out in the Great Dakotan conflict. You must be relieved to see we made it! Right. Relieved. What are you doing here? We all got terrible presents from Santa. So we decided to come to the North Pole and return them. Better that than spending Christmas Eve with a shotgun aimed at the fireplace! Kids today have no respect for tradition, Sam. Why don't you go inside? We were on our way in when we heard some frightening noises coming from the workshop. It almost sounded like... Gunshots? Yeah, how did you guess? Sam, why am I the only one who associates Christmas with the sound of gunfire? Best not to think about it, Max. Why don't you go inside? We're waiting for the shootout to end. I can respect that. How? What did you get from Santa? A jar full of rhinoceros musk. Yes, another one. I got a see-through nighty. It's beautiful, but I don't have the hips for it. I'll trade you. Why? What did you get? Tuberculosis! <laughs> that's what I gave Sam last year. And that's why we no longer have Secret Santa at the office. Aren't you guys governors of the Dakotas? We were, but that wasn't enough. So we annexed Nebraska. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a disagreement. With who? 2.5 million voters! They won! Are you going to run for re-election? No, now we're focused on environmental issues. We've got a new respect for nature since we got kicked out of the governor's mansion! Can we stay with you guys? No! no. We should be going. Christmas isn't gonna save itself. Yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. Aren't you freezing? It's not so bad once you get used to it. Are you used to it yet? No, I'm freezing! Any ideas on how to get Santa to come out? Let's burn down the workshop and wait for him to run out. But what do we do if he doesn't come out? I don't know. Try it again. What are the warning signs of hypothermia? I don't know. And if you find out, don't ruin it for me. I want to be surprised about which of my organs shuts down first. Any ideas on how to get Santa to come out? Let's burn down the workshop and wait for him to run out. But what do we do if he doesn't come out? I don't know. Try it again. Let's keep moving. Good idea. I don't want to have to huddle to stay warm. No offense. None taken. I'm not much of a huddler either. This thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Wanna have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. He's really let himself go. It's Santa's chimney. Do you think he ever pops down his own chimney, delivering presents to himself? If he's been good that year, sure. Chocolate-covered barbed wire. Wow, chocolate really does go well with everything. It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. What's a topiary? That. How are we doing on fuel? It's running low on coal. This must be Santa's sleigh. Where does he attach the flying reindeer? There's a boiler on the back. Whoa, tough rig for the reindeer. The boiler runs on coal, I think. Hey, my snowball melted. Aw, oh, it's adorable. 
I think it might be a warning, Sam. Still adorable. to help us, he'll kill us all! Nah, Max is harmless. Mostly. Not him! Santa! He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys. We don't know what's gotten into him. The snow will turn red with the blood of the naughty! The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly. Ooh, with good cheer yet, little pal? Up to my jaundiced eyeballs, Sam. I'm a little concerned about the heavily armed sniper behind door number one. Let's rush him and brave the inevitable hail of bullets. I'm sure he can't take out more than five of us before we break down the door. Actually, I was hoping for an approach where someone survives. Me, for example. Spoil sport. Are those guys elves or space aliens? I think it's one of each. I wonder where they keep the giant robots. Right outside our office, apparently. Let's get cracking. The eggnog smell in here is starting to get to me. Merry Christmas, Sam! It's the world's simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. It's a boxing Betty doll, the finest in remote control fisticuffs. Didn't the Mametron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Nope, I didn't learn anything. Good, I worry sometimes. It just wouldn't feel like Christmas without the needless destruction of an innocent bystander. Even when toys were made of wood, this would have been a disappointment. Collect all ten. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. Is it loaded? Well, yes. It even has the easy light wick. Toy Marie Antoinette sold separately. Toy Marie Antoinette sold separately. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. What happened to Santa? I don't know. But if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it! The man gives presents away for free! I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him, or he's gonna make us do bad things. Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them! To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song! Aw, oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I commute. Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. 
Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health plan. Do the baby penguins do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use the gift tube over there and see for yourself. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. Any idea why Santa went nuts? Beats me. I'm the intern. I just came off the assembly line yesterday. Jumping jacks and half stacks of hat racks. Are you saying elves are made in factories? Because if you are, I want to place an order for six million. Also, tell my army they're fired. No, I meant I was working in a factory. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. What did the factory make? Elves. So what happened to Santa? Beats me. I'm the new guy. See anything unusual lately? Well, this morning, I could have sworn I felt the presence of an unspeakable evil. Tell us more about this unspeakable evil. I'd rather not speak about it. Can't you tell us anything about that unspeakable evil? No! Don't you know what unspeakable means? So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow! How? Oh. By crying! Christmas trees love elf tears! Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast! But I'm too darn happy! I'll never be able to cry! What a shame! It's enough to make you cry! I wish! I bet we could make you cry! Thanks! I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy! We can fix that! In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Me first! We killed your dog! Oh, no! Yep, he or she ran right in front of our car, and, well... I tried to draw you a picture, but I ran out of red crayon! That sounds awful, but I don't have a dog! I know. We got him for you. And then we killed him! Feel like crying yet? Was he a good dog? Oh, yeah! Well, then at least he's in doggy heaven now. Start crying or I'm gonna dip you in honey barbecue sauce and throw you to a polar bear. Oh, goody. I love polar bears. Don't you get it? A polar bear would chop your head off. What? Nothing that cute could be dangerous. Ouch. I didn't think I still had feelings, but there they are. I'll pluck out your eyeballs and use them as Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, no. Wait. How am I supposed to cry if I don't have any eyes? We could try it and see what happens. Thanks, but I'd rather keep my eyes. In case no one mentioned this to you yet, you were adopted. Finally! I've been living at that orphanage for 30 years! It was starting to get pretty awkward. Where are my new parents? Uh, they just died. Oh, well, easy come, easy go! You've been fired. Oh no, why? The children of the world decided they wanted two Halloweens this year instead of Christmas. If you feel like crying, now would be a good time. Or now. Or now. Why would I want to cry? With all the extra time to prepare, next Christmas is going to be the best one ever! You don't still believe in Santa Claus, do you? Sure I do. I saw him this morning. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but uh, Santa isn't real. He's just make-believe, like the Black Easter Bunny, or elves. But I'm an elf. That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second, are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, no, I guess I can't. Ouch, <laughs> tough break. <laughs> Surprise, we were lying. Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. That's a big honking tree. Those elf tears really work. Merry Christmas. It sure is. Wow, I can't believe he filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. 
Good work, little buddy. Oh, stop. <laughs> now you're gonna make me cry. I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email. It's a high score list for Mime Sweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles. Shambling corporate presence? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's gonna be all Max. Now, how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's frozen. Computers and icy Arctic wastelands. A bad combination. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. We do? Not really. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. Go for it, Max. Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect! I've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. You only have yourself to blame for that. It was worth it. This tube spits out presents. Hey, it's just like me! I wouldn't call those presents, Max. This must be what Santa uses to send presents. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Who's it for? Actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. Let the winds of ill fortune carry it to an undeserving recipient, then. Mametron 9000. Out of stock. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. Footbath and Piranha Aquarium. Too bad the piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. Grandma's Happy Pills. What's in them? The bottle just says, good boys and girls don't ask Grandma a lot of questions about her pills. Let's attach a gift tag. My first Moai head. What can you do with that? I don't know, but the box says it's guaranteed to last for thousands of years. Let's attach a gift tag. Hey, it's the North Pole, the magnetic center of the Earth. Magnetism? <laughs> don't tell me you're one of those kooks. You don't believe in magnetism? It's an interesting theory, but I'm not convinced. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. Okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things, but that's my limit. It's Santa's record player. Do you think it still works? Since we haven't gone near it yet, I assume so. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? Delivery for Mr. Claus. You'll need to sign for it, so if you could just put down the gun... Hi, it's us again. Just checking to see if you still have that gun. Hello, we're carolers. Carolers of justice. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? It's a Torture Me Elmer doll. Look! He comes with his own breakable spirit and detachable retinas! Tot 
Seeing all these toys kind of makes me wish I was a kid again. If it's any consolation, I still think of you as a child. Thanks. I wish the courts did. The Bop Buddy Pre-Adolescent Aggression Management System. I wonder why they call this the Flounder Pounder. Fine. What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing label. To Santa, from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. Here we grow. Hey Sam, give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plants. You win again, Tokyo! Christmas. We come bearing good cheer and high-powered pistols. <sighs> Sugar Plum Fairies! Santa, you okay in there? Ho 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 ho! Eat hot lead, you little imps! Ah! I'm pretty sure it's either Dasher or Dancer. It's an album of satanic Christmas songs. Oh, it includes the smash hit, the Friendly Demon song. I can't think of anything to say right now. Boy, Santa's really lost it. Let's take him down before he finds it again. Maybe we shouldn't save Christmas after all. Sam, no! We can't let Thanksgiving get the upper hand! Don't be too loud. I'd hate to see you full of buckshot. Better warn your tie. Well, we've got things to do. I think I left my needlepoint in the car. They're exorcism instructions. Wicked! I want to do it now! But we don't know anyone who's possessed. Or do we? How do we start? Hey kids, want to silence those inner voices? Do I? No more messy arcane rituals. The My Little Demon playset makes it easy. First, signal the emergence of the demon with the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, sold separately. Aww. Ask your parents to help you place the horsemen around a powerful magnetic pole. Roman Polanski? Finally, draw the hell spawn out by singing the friendly demon song, using personal information about your demon. He won't be able to resist. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever! It's either a trip to the zoo, or Santa's gotten remarried. Either way, I can't tell what he sees in her. Yeah, I think you'd need a wider lens. Two again! Hold still while I give you your present!
pretty much only useful in a record player. To exercise the demon, it says we'll need to collect the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, place the horsemen around a magnetic pole, then draw the demon out using the friendly demon song. Nope. Nuh-uh. Nah. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like the light bulb. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. In the belly of an unwed goat. Even the other demon was scared to let him join their game. I pull the tail off the donkey. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. Hey, shambling corporate presence. I don't think that's how the song goes. like an IRS Form 1040 Statement of Individual Income Tax Return. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. In Lower Manitoba. Even the other demon was scared to let him join their game. Like Tic Tac Doom. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. Hey, he of the thousand unanswered cries. I don't think that's how the song goes. Let's put on the friendly demon song. There was a fearsome demon who had a very scary form. Like gelatinous goo. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. In the back of a 94 Honda Civic. Like Minesweeper. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. Hey, nameless one who was formerly called Sue. I don't think that's how the song goes. There was a fearsome demon. Had a very scary four, four, four. Like two ferrets and a dolphin stapled together. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. At the corner of Bellman Anderson, near that one taqueria that I think uses way too much cilantro, though Max disagrees. Even the other demons scared to let him join their games. Their games. Like I spy with my hundred eyes. Hey, Nyarlathotep, the crawling chaos. I don't think that's how the song goes. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later.
Our neighborhood has certainly changed. Fresh rubble, shiny new robot corpses, hot and cold running vermin. Yeah, I hate gentrification! Let's get to work. What's a pimple car? Must be one of those tiny European imports. What's this? A clandestine meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The cops are obsolete no longer! Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp Le Car! We offer secure upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? Go on! Get! What was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. The lease was terminated! What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. Road debris? From the main trunk? My hero! No! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted torture me Elmer doll. Destroy them all! What have you got against torture me Elmer? Show off! My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them! Torture Me Elmer is the hottest toy this season. Elmer appeals to the lowest common denominator. He's a solo! So do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Because you're lonely, forgotten machines who do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Input appears valid. I just had a breakthrough! This is all about my dad! Could you guys turn the DeSoto into a hybrid? Damn hippies! We are not. I just wanted to be able to use the carpool lane. Since when do you stay in the lanes anyway, Sam? We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press 1 now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault! Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent! First, however, you must complete the Pimplica driving challenge. Oh, just give us the horse! Where is the fun in that? We've pooled together our years of experience in designing the most advanced computer games to bring you the ultimate augmented reality driving experience. Augmented reality? Yes! While you weren't looking, we placed a pair of our patented augmented reality goggles in your vehicle. You did? Through the miracle of augmented reality, your driving experience will be five to ten times more satisfying than ever before. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Maybe later. What's this about decorative decals? We can outfit your ride with a wide assortment of decorative embellishments created by our in-house auto detailing artist. How does he do that? His mother was a label maker. Simply hit the streets and obliterate rare objects. If we deem them suitably interesting, we will reward you with a decal to commemorate the joyous destruction. Now that's my kind of game. What should we be obliterating? That is for you to determine. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. That's available for a limited time to our customers who've destroyed a sufficient number of Torture Me Elmer dolls. Destroy them! Would you like to try the driving challenge now? And how? Eat my dust! Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome!
welcome to the Pimpla Car Driving Challenge. I'm really excited. Your mission is to hit the display number of Torture Me Elmer Dolls. Make them pay! And you must do it in the allotted time. Just go already! Ready? Go! It's the sudden unexpected death figurine with super reaping action. Now, wherever we drive, pedestrians will feel the icy chill of death. More so than usual. Hi, guys. We'd like some of those decorative decals. Simply destroy rare objects on the road, and if we deem them worthy, we shall award you a commemorative decal, free of charge. We want to play your driving game again. Welcome back. We all wish you the best of luck. Go fail! Almost all of us wish you the best of luck. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. I'll see you in hell! Destroy them! Ready? Go! Just getting warmed up. Excellent. Initiating do hyphen over secret. Destroy them! Ready? Go! Try again? Yes. Destroy them! 
Ready? Go! You just earned a free decal! What did you do to my leg? I'll go up! I'll go up! Not the face! I know my right! Why? Time's up! Would you like to try again? Yes. Destroy them! Ready? You are a winner. Would you like to keep trying for more decal? You bet. We're just getting warmed up. Excellent. Initiating do hyphen over sequence. Destroy them! Ready? Go! You are a winner. Would you like to keep trying for more decal? Yes. Destroy them! Ready? Go! I'll go up! I'll go up! Not the face! Why? I'll go up! I'll go up! Please, kill me! Please, not the corkscrew! Oh! 
you like to try again? Yes. Destroy them! Ready? Go! to try again? Yes. Destroy them! Ready? Go! Congratulations! You've earned every decal currently in stock! You rock! You win the big honkin' mystery prize. Thanks, guys. You make the best completely worthless upgrades around. Stinky Steiner, it's back in business. An excited neighborhood reopens its arms and its emergency rooms. Grand reopening. The smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed! Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The Stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething hatred of humanity into a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Hiya, Stinky. If that is your real name... Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, Freelance Police. The real Stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards. Which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> my sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression. How do you play? It's easy. Just grab a trivia pad, I'll read a question, you write down the answer. 
I'll review the answers, and then you'll see how much smarter I am than everyone else. You can choose a team if you want. Ooh, ooh, Sam! Pick me! Pick me! What's happening again? A trivia contest. Just grab a pad and try around. We'd like to order something. We're all out. Of what? Whatever you're going to order. That's okay. We just want to order it anyway. All right. We'd like the daily special. Sal, Condi Rice, Kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? We'll have the poached eggs with tinfoil. Sal, give me the Norse god Thor in a terrarium and spank him. I'd like the double burger baked in biscuit dough. Hold the clams. Half a doppelganger in tight pants singing solo. Could I get the precious special with hash browns? Sal, two lemony snickets and a Mexican standoff with a prairie dog. We'd like the tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. Sal, I need an Al Gore in mariachi pants riding a disco ball. We'd like the sweet and sour saltwater taffy. Sal, Julia Roberts, put a bullet in her brain and kiss her with Andy Rooney. It's like my secret dreams made audible. We'll have two yogurts and an open-faced turkey sandwich. Sal, Hubliss times two with a side of Brady culture. On second thought, I'm on a diet. How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Grr. Standing up all day, getting you down? And how? I was made for sunning Beachside and Capri, not slinging Hash Counterside for a pack of ingrates. So long. What's the cap from? Well, I don't like to brag, but I wrestled that off a of blood-crazed Dick Cheney. Nice jackalo. Robert Redford caught and stuffed it for me when my film won at Sundance. What's the pie for today? Whipped Nutria. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting, stay for the chicken. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. That has to just be a regular old tiki torch. Oh, it is just a regular old tiki torch. One that I used to defeat the flesh-eating troubadours of the Philippines. Ricola! Sorry, don't know what came over me. Just what we need. More things to beat. A gong, an alpenhorn, and some djembes. That's one hell of a jazz trio. Hey, Stinky, you've got my hit single from the Embarrassing Idol finals. Poison control requires I have it to induce vomiting. Someday bits of me are screwed And 
so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. May the starfish justice not impure. All the girlies hear me and they swoon. Blowing like a zephyr on a dune. Mother Teresa? Lousy tipper. Stop. Okay. I can't believe Napoleon ate here. I can. He kept his hand on his stomach to keep from throwing up. Gandhi? Huge fan of our double bacon cheeseburger. That mummy case almost looks authentic. Almost? It is authentic. It's the sarcophagus of Prince Peptus Bismuth. Nice idol. <laughs> it's a memento from my days as voodoo queen. I find it unlikely that you were a voodoo queen. That's why I was so successful. No one saw me coming. Nice snowshoes. Those are the tennis rackets with which I beat Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras. Why do they have foot straps? Because I wore the rackets on my feet. <laughs> Tough match. I see trichinosis in our future. Why is that shark wearing a Hawaiian shirt? Ooh, midlife crisis. He couldn't grow a ponytail. Is that from a real ship? It is. Mega millionaire Richard Branson gave that to me after I helped him cross the Pacific in record time. Isn't Branson British? Why would he cross the Pacific? To get to the other side, silly. What can you tell me about this canoe? <laughs> it's a priceless antique. Then why is it in a diner and not a museum? I believe it's important to bring a variety of cultures to the unwashed masses. I'm not sure which better describes your food. A variety of cultures or unwashed masses? That's a great looking Viking helmet. It's a memento from singing Wagner's Ring Cycle with Pavarotti. Wow, which part did you sing? Why, the girl's part, of course. Borrowed from the corner of Dead Man's Curve and Blind Man's Alley. That's a lovely looking two headed Buddha. <laughs> Why, thank you. Ram Das gave me that after we won the 35th annual World Enlightenment Dirty Dancing Competition together. Clark Gable was here. I'm surprised his ears fit through the door. Look who's talking. Look, Max, it's our incredible recording bug. Great, I finally managed to get away from my family, and now you two show up. Can a bug just eat a brimstone sandwich in peace? Ah, brimstone. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. What the hell? Why'd you play back that demon recording? I've got a case of PISD, post-insecticide stress disorder. It keeps causing these flashbacks. How so? I get a whiff of something familiar, and the memories just come rushing back. Must have been some brimstone in the air during that exorcism. Oh, is that brimstone? This whole time I just assumed you let out a 200-pound fart. No, it was brimstone. Honest. How long have you had this weird flashback disorder? Ever since my company tried and failed to take Hamburger Hill. In Nam? Negative! Hamburger Hill behind the Burger Buddies on West 5th! The place reeked of pheromones. Charlie was using Roach Motels. ROACH MOTELS! What other memories you got recorded? I want to hear him talk like Zombie George Burns. I'll go get some cigars and formaldehyde. Get away from me! I don't want to aggravate my condition. What other memories you got recorded? He 
here, smell this. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. You don't get along with your family? Negative. Except for my dad, they're all a bunch of spineless ladybugs. Aren't all bugs spineless? Not in my regiment. If you didn't have a spine, by God, my dad would make you grow a pair. A pair of spines? That's just the kind of bug he was. Senseless and brutal. God, I miss him. What happened to your dad? You really want to know? No, not really. It was our toughest battle yet. We secured our positions in a heavily fortified dumpster when suddenly they came out of nowhere. Who? The cleaning crew. Cleaning crew! Attacking with sanitation. That's just plain dirty. The smell of bleach was overpowering. We all would have gone thorax up if it hadn't been for my dad. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. God, he was concise. <laughs> Gets me every time. Every time? What happened to your dad again? Taken out by a cleaning crew. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. <laughs> Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's strictly on a need-to-know basis. We've got clearance from the Department of Being Bigger Than You and Having Guns. Well, what do you think it is, smart guy? We think it's A. I guess that's the best I can expect from civilians. Sir, so long, sir. Keep them dangly, dogface. Hello, sir. Ah! Oh, I thought you were my family. They always try to surprise me on my birthday. You song say birthday? That was weird. Sir, so long, sir. Hey, Sybil. Oh, hey there, Sam and Max. What was all that commotion outside? Just a little urban renewal project that got out of hand. By the way, didn't you tell us that you wished your office was closer to a good restaurant? That's right. Why? No reason. Are you and Abe on a date? Well... If you want to call it that. What if I wanted to call it the unspeakable obscenity from beyond space cackling on the threshold of utter madness? I think I'd prefer date. Think there'll be more dates in your future? Who knows? I'm no fortune teller, but... Oh, wait a minute. I was a fortune teller! Or wait, was I a sports therapist? Were the balls crystal or merely inflamed? Are you still the Queen of Canada? Hardly. I thought they'd be happy when I annexed the U.S., but all they did was complain. They were all faltering dollar this, and pernicious crime rate that, and unwieldy and inefficient healthcare system. Moan, moan, moan. I didn't think Canadians ever complained. They did it in that really polite, passive-aggressive way that just made it worse. What brings you here? I thought it would be fun to play this trivia quiz. But instead, we're stuck watching Stinky make a mockery of the word knowledge. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah, Max and I always have a blast making a mockery of the word justice. You're not enjoying the trivia contest? No, I'm sure my answers are right. But Stinky says otherwise. I'm sure you're right too, dear. If this is too aggravating... Oh no, this is fine, Abe. I'm just enjoying being here with you. If I weren't trying to impress Abe, I'd claw that lying witch's eyes out! You should let Lincoln see the real you! Otherwise, your entire relationship is based on a lie! Why are you giving out relationship advice, Max? I just want to see a good cat fight! Do you know the answer to the trivia question? I'd rather not say. I'm kind of competitive. That's okay. We're not. Why? What do you think the answer is? We think it's A. Hmm. Good to know. See ya, Sybil. 23 skidoo, Mr. Lincoln. What's shaking, Mr. X, President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. <laughs> That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I never friended you. Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? 
to cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. What are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? The trivia contest can't be all that bad. Abe, you're not having a good time? No, no, of course I am, Sybil. The best. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. It's all questions about aeroplanes and electric lights and cell phone transmission specification technology. And that stinky person actually claimed she wrote the Gettysburg Address. If I weren't trying to impress Sybil, I'd headbutt that aqua-haired harlot from here to Harrisburg. You're not doing well at trivia? Not at all. How can anyone think with all these bright lights shining everywhere? You know what you people need? Gas lamps. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys. We think it's A. Hmm, okay. See you, A.L. Represent. Clark Gable was here. I'm surprised his ears fit through the door. Look who's talking. Wizard was here. Ah, yes. I knew I recognized that odor. Let's give this trivia question a try. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. We'll start with you, Sybil. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <sighs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President. But also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We also chose A. Sadly, this is a quiz, not an election. It is still wrong. The correct answer was actually... B. B? Liar! All right, next question. This day of the week comes between Tuesday and Thursday. What is it? A. Doomsday. B. Wednesday. C. Doris Day. D. Menachem Begin. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. Ugh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I also chose B. Oh, how cute! You two are like identical twins or something, with your enormous foreheads and your matching wrong answers. The answer is D. D! No, it is not. <laughs> not. We also chose D. Really? Hilarious! <laughs> and again, wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Okay, next. Which of the following women's names is also the name of an herb? A. Napalmette. B. Mary Juanita. C. Rosemary. D. The Pyloric Sphincter. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I also chose C. That's wrong, but still a good choice. Some women are intimidated by a man who thinks for himself. The answer is D. D! Negative. We chose B. Did each of you pick an answer and then average it out? Because that is very, very wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Time for a new question. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? A. Grant. B. The Who. C. Abbott and Costello. D. Spam.
Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes, hook a brother up. We think it's D. Got it. See you, A.L. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Why? What do you think the answer is? We think it's D. Hmm. Okay. See you, Sybil. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? What do you think the answer is? We think it's D. Excellent choice, men. Proceed. Sir, so long, sir. Keep them dangly, dog face. Whee! Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I chose D. And I don't think any less of you for that. Really. But sadly, it's still wrong. I also chose D. Negative. We also chose A. Sadly, this is a quiz, not an election. It is still wrong. The correct answer was actually B. B? Liar! New question. What would a doctor use to take your temperature? A. Thermometer. B. Forceps. C. A dull, rusty machete. D. The Queen. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear, <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <sighs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President, but also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Your persistence is admirable, but wrong. We also chose D. <laughs> that's either sad and wrong, or wrong and sad. The correct answer was actually B. B? Liar! Here is a new question. When driving, what does a red light mean? A. God is dead. B. Accelerate. C. Stop. D. William Shakespeare. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes. Hook a brother up. We think it's D. Thanks for the tip. See you, A.L. Represent. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I chose D. And I don't think any less of you for that. Really. But sadly, it's still wrong. I also chose D. Negative. We also chose D. Really? Hilarious! <laughs> and again wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Ready for our next question? You have three oranges. I take one orange. How many oranges do you have left? A. Six oranges. B. Two oranges. C. Three and a half oranges. D. False. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. That's perfect, because B is for bzzzt. You're wrong. I also chose B. Oh, how cute. You two are like identical twins or something, with your enormous foreheads and your matching wrong answers. The answer is D. D! That would be right, if it weren't so very wrong. We chose C. Refreshing, and yet wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Here's our next one. You're supposed to hit these with a hammer. A. Criminals. B. Thumbs. C. Nails. D. Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I also chose C. That's wrong, but still a good choice. Some women are intimidated by a man who thinks for himself. The answer is D. D! I do so admire your tenacious D. And yet, you're wrong! 
We chose A. Oh, too bad. Wrong. The correct answer was actually B. B? Liar! I think we need a new question. In the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears, how many bears does Goldilocks encounter? A. Ten bears. B. Three bears. C. No bears, only adorable ducks. <laughs> Aww. D. Planck's constant. This has got to be the world's dumbest diner. We managed to guess every answer except the right one. Why are we hanging around this skeezy slop house? I don't know about you, but I want to win that trivia contest. Good idea. We could really use that prize. What prize? I just wanted to do my trademark victory dance while I point and laugh at the losers. What do you think is the answer to the trivia question? I've got a good feeling about death by lethal injection. That's not even one of the choices. What? Oh, sorry I'm distracted, Sam. I've been working on your performance review. I don't think I trust this new so-called stinky imposter. The stinky we knew was a bitter old coot with no talent for cooking and a total disregard for his customers. Yeah, this new stinky is an attractive young woman with no talent for cooking and a total disregard for her customers. Hard to believe they're related. Hungry, Max? Not anymore. And if we stay here much longer, probably never again. Well, I don't want to jabber all day. That's not a euphemism, is it? No, idiot. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. Ugh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I also chose B. Oh, how cute! You two are like identical twins or something, with your enormous foreheads and your matching wrong answers. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We chose C. Refreshing, and yet wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Oh, here's a good one. These are typically served with a hamburger. A. French fries. B. Lawn darts. C. Subpoenas. D. The unbearable lightness of being. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes, hook a brother up. We think it's B. Great, I'll go with that. See you, Al. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear, <laughs> because you're wrong. I chose B. I appreciate a man unafraid to flaunt his ignorance. Wrong. The answer is D. D. No, it is not. <laughs> not. We chose C. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. Well, congratulations. I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler? Blind a toddler? Hmm. Eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Sybil's not here. It's closed. Open 24 hours unless I don't feel like it. Or a giant robot tosses the entire building a city block. This was a lot more exciting than Manly Deeds, Womanly Words, the Maryland story. What's this about decorative decals? Do you want to make more money, Max? Sure, we all do. Targeted, ominous marketing. I like that. That Orwellian touch brightens up any neighborhood.
I'm glad this survived the destruction. Canada sells U.S. to MacroHard Corporation. I wondered why the stock market kept crashing. New S&M season. It's a shame you don't wear collars, Sam. It says they're coming back in style. Halt. Welcome to Bosco's Inconvenience. Please wait while I determine whether you are truly welcome or if I am just uttering idle pleasantries. Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. Welcome. <gasps> Bosco, your disguise. It's... it's... it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. Wow, I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. Shh, my package. What, no hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, Sam, Sam. You poor, naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from T-H-E-M. Them? You scared me! Who's them? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find T-H-E-M. Well, if you do, tell them... Okay, this is getting old fast. Them. What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look, I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Now the store looks, uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. It's a fact. A fact. They don't want you to know. Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly. My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. I have conspiracy facts. So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. Cause he doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything! This ain't a store! Do you have any Lords of Leapin' and or Maids of Milking? I told you, this ain't a store! Do you have any inflatable arms capable of being used as replacements for your real arms? Didn't I just tell you this ain't a store no more! Do you have any passive-aggressive payback disguised as an innocuous customer inquiry? Do you have no! any- This ain't a store! It's not? No! Oh, why didn't you say so? No! A trillion dollars worth of detection equipment, and yet he still didn't see that one coming a mile away. Enough about your store. It's not a- No, oh, uh, forget it. Say, Bosco, what's in the- Hey, guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not your best pickup line, Bosco. Oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year around this time. 
Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So, why don't you just get rid of it? Cause it might be the billion dollar plunge I just ordered. What a dilemma. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I gotta be sure it's ticking. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I gotta be sure it's ticking. Them. <coughs> See ya, Bosco. Shh. Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Volume 4 comes out next week! How does he get these shots? Hey, that looks like one of the Four Horsemen action figures. Weenie Jerky. How do they make jerky out of weenies, Sam? You're not old enough to know. And neither am I. Can we borrow your bomb be gone? There's some obsolete landmines around the office we need to get rid of. No! If I loan my bomb disposal unit out to everyone in the neighborhood who needed it, I'd never get it back. You know, in this neighborhood, that's actually true. I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP TV, the L train, and. Hey, wait a second! Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. It's an old photograph enlarger. I wonder if it will enlarge anything else. No, Max, no. Hugh Bliss's master plan. Bosco's a little behind the times. Hey, an x-ray machine. Uh, don't fool with that. This is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Uh, don't fool with that. Now we can finally confirm exactly how many different strains of bacteria live in the pickle relish. Remember, I've still got 163 in the office pool. Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. Suddenly, it all makes sense. I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. So, I've got a couple of walls upstairs devoted to you two. What are we going to do now that Bosco shut down his store? Beats me, Sam. We could go back to using the Sloth Mart downtown. No, it's not as much fun since they started psych screenings on the staff. What's our plan of attack, little buddy? You provide suppressing fire while I assemble the Macmillan TAC-50 and unpack the armor-piercing incendiary M20 tracer rounds! I meant figuratively, goof. We're trying to get Bosco to give us his horsemen. And nothing negotiates better than a TAC-50 with M20 tracer rounds! Are you clear on our goals right now? Bring a little justice to a cruel world. Help just a few of the helpless. Know just a few moments of happiness before the inevitable plunge into that long, black night. I mean at Bosco's, Pinhead. Oh, something about getting that horseman thing. Are you clear on our goals right now? Oh, something about getting that horseman thing. Do you think Bosco's gone crazy? Absolutely not, Sam. I think he's gone crazier! This place is too disturbing for even me. And considering the company you keep, that's really saying something. Well, I'm sure you've got things to do. Does expectoration count? Are the high-intensity security lasers to keep us from getting into the bathroom, or to keep something from getting out? Even dark rooms need popsicles. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer! I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. If it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I won't want a snack.
Canada sells U.S. to Macrohard Corporation. I wondered why the stock market kept crashing. This parking meter could withstand anything. I don't want to shoot my little buddy. It's filled with Max's receipts from the tanning parlor. Flint, showdown at Santa's workshop. You in? Sorry, chums. I got a rendezvous with my new client. A lady client? You know it, pal. If things work out, you're looking at one private dick who's gonna end up on the naughty list. Flint, can we ask you a few questions? It would really help us out. You boys don't need this mug's help. You guys have what it takes. You've got guts. Thanks, Flint. We had more, but our refrigerator shorted out. I gotta run for a meeting with a client. Keep up the good fight, boys. Aw, oh, Flint's gone! Buck up, Max. We'll see him again. I know, Sam. But I was hoping to hit him up for some cash first. See anything in here that could help with our Santa problem? 158 things. 172 if you count the nachos individually. Right. I forgot about your savant-like ability to find lethal uses for common items. I meant non-violent. Oh, then I've got nothing. I almost feel bad for assuming the worst about Mr. Spatula. Don't worry, Sam. He's in a happier place now. Besides, I suspect he's the one who's been embezzling from the Department of the Interior to buy fish flakes. I enjoy our little chats. Whee! Our penny-conscious, tape-eating VCR. I see that America's next white noise is still on the air. I voted for bendy images and the sounds of gravel being poured down a toilet. Turns out a giant robot carcass was exactly what this neighborhood needed. There's only one way we can go from here. That's the spirit, Sam! Part of our neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I won't rest until our entire neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. Hey, my missing boxing glove! That's my lucky glove, Put. Jimmy Two Teeth, what are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned out husk of this robot? The first rule is, we don't talk about what goes on in the burned-out husk of this robot. Hey, neat horse! Give it to me. Nothing doing. That's my championship trophy, and I won it fair and square. I always thought being shiftless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies now? Boxing championship, wise guy. See ya, suckers. Let us get a hold of that horse, Jimmy. I don't deal in that stuff anymore. Oh, you mean my boxing trophy? Nothing doing. You want to see my trophy? You've got to come in here and win it from me. We can't fit in there, much less into the ring. Hey, I don't make the rules, buddy. I just exploit him. Let's get to work.
Dallas Corner with zero victories, 48 defeats, and one draw due to unsportsmanlike conduct with a carving knife. Weighing in at 14 ounces, Willie Glass Jaw Bubble Sniffer. And our challenger, coming direct from the North Pole, weighing in at 1 pound, 14 ounces without batteries, Boxing! And he's out cold! Benny wins! What's this? A new opponent? Hailing from a potato chip bag in the dumpster outside Slap Mart, the rat whose barber didn't know when to stop, the pride of the skin bodies, oh. Ready, fight! That had to hurt! Right hook! Ouch! Ooh. Left hook! Put him away! The left knockout! Then he wins! And now, for our final match in this corner! Direct from a hole in the wall of Sam and Max's office, weighing in at 1 pound 13 ounces or 12 ounces without the lucky glove, our defending champion, Jimmy Tutti! Ready, fight! Body blow! What power! It's the super exclusive war action figure with extra... Hmm, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. Eh, who needs them? How could I lose? I'm no expert, Jimmy. But I bet being a loser helped. You, you're right. I, I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done? Jimmy's gonna off himself. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. I'm gonna do it. I'll jump, I tell ya. Hang on a second, Jimmy. Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts. Or the follow-through. Groan! It's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? Give it up, Sam. Oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning it in, why bother? Turn that frown upside down. That nonsense ain't helping. Sorry, Jimmy. It's just that suicide is too horrible for me to even contemplate. Even though we'd all be happier if you were dead. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? She left me! You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Sure. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. Look on the bright side. No wife, no family, no job. What bright side? Well, with all the brain damage you got from boxing, you'd make a great vacant eye janitor. And ah, nuts. My boxing career didn't even last long enough to give me a decent case of brain damage. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? She left me! You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Sure. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. Hey, when you jump, try to hit somebody annoying on the way down. Like one of those soda poppers. Which one's the incontinent one again? I couldn't tell you. Boy, you really are useless, aren't you? 
Wouldn't you rather die by my hand? I guess it'd be faster and better to get taken out by a friend. You are my friend, right, Max? Hmm, I wonder what I could use to do the job. The Luger? A nine iron? You're not even listening to me, are you? Of course I am, Sam. Go on! After you jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that! Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pair of beer warmers. Bye, Jimmy. Don't you mean see you later? Not after Tuesday when the street sweepers come. It's icy cold. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Do you know where we can find the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse action figures? Sorry, I'm new here. But I bet it's probably in the last place you look. That's where I usually find things. Like my tumor. My shift supervisor might be able to help you, though. How about those Four Horsemen? Sorry, I still haven't seen them. You might want to ask my shift supervisor. Merry Christmas. Do you have any of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse action figures in stock? Nope. We shipped the last one out this morning. Where? Some wretched block of urban misery. Hey! We live on a wretched block of urban misery! With a diner, an inconvenience store, and a cast of shady ne'er-do-wells? That's the one! So you sent the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse to people on our street? Yep! How come we didn't get any presents? We did. We got a giant robot of destruction. Oh. Merry Christmas. If you say so. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Let's attach a gift tag. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Oh, Sybil might like that. Grandma's Happy Pills. What's in them? The bottle just says, Good boys and girls don't ask Grandma a lot of questions about her pills. Let's attach a gift tag. Who's it for? Bosco might like that. My first Moai head. What can you do with that? I don't know, but the box says it's guaranteed to last for thousands of years. Let's attach a gift tag.
What unlucky person should we mail this to? Lincoln might like that. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. Who's it for? Stinky might like that. Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Hi, Stinky. Did you get a gift in the mail? I did, but I didn't want it, so I mixed it in with a tuna surprise. Surprise! So long. Hey, Sybil. Did you get a gift in the mail? No. Who needs mail when I've got my Abe? Ah, how sickening. See ya, Sybil. Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Did you get a gift in the mail? I no longer bother with the mail, ever since somebody blew my hands off. Oh, tough break. See you, A.L. Represent. Hey, Bosco. Did you get a gift in the mail? Yeah. What'd you do with it? Well, I didn't hear any bombs inside, so I opened it. And? It wasn't what I wanted. Didn't Santa get my list? See ya, Bosco. Sam? We're off to the North Pole.
Obsessomatic Stopwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. I can't wait to see Bosco's bomb be gone in action. I should make a list of things I want to blow up. But it's gonna take a while. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Bosco might like that. Footpath and Piranha Aquarium. Too bad the piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. Who's it for? Stinky might like that. No siree. Nothing doing. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Howdy, Bosco. Shh. I just got a package, and this one's ticking louder than all five of Larry King's pacemakers put together. It's gotta be my mama's bomb. I'm gonna blow it to kingdom come. Now, while he's distracted, Max, grab the package and let's get... Look, Sam! It's the supersized famine figure! With realistic binging and purging action! It's got over 1,700 points of articulation! 250 in the jowls alone! You never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. Oh, wait! Where's my package? Dear God, they took it! And they took Sam and Max, too! There ain't no place safe! Hey, Bosco. Them. <coughs> See ya, Bosco. Bath was heavenly. My feet haven't felt that good since that hot oil massage from Barack Obama. It smells like you've got a new item on the menu, too. Now, I can find the strength to keep serving these poor, sweet, spoiled imbeciles. This smelly old sock could come in handy.
Hey, Bug, get a load of this stinky sock. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. She doesn't wear socks. Come to think of it, until now I wasn't sure if she had feet. No feet. We found your sock. You keep it. Not happening. No way. I think it's too big for him. Get away from me! Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Can we start the exorcism now? Nope. We still need three more horsemen. Let's hurry! I've got a sudden, inexplicable craving for pea soup! The Horsemen of War. I hope this demon appreciates all the work we're going through. I just hope he doesn't rip our lungs out and eat them in front of us. That's kind of what I meant. I can't wait till we finally exercise this bastard and put the video up on YouTube. You'll have to. We still need one more horseman. That's the last one. Now we just have to sing the incantation. Do we have to? If we want to save Santa the season of giving and possibly the entire Earth as we know it, yes. It still hardly seems worth it.
I don't think they stuff them by hand these days. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like gelatinous goo. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born, born. In Lower Manitoba. Even the other demons scared to let him try their games. Their games. Like Mime Sweeper. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name, his name, his name. His name. Hey, shambling corporate presence. It worked! The power of Christmas compels you! Any second now, Santa's gonna walk out that door demon-free and shower us with gifts like an absentee dad with a guilty conscience. Did it work? <laughs> Wait. But he... You mean... But I, I, I thought... But I thought... Huh? What? No! I quit! I'm gonna be a dentist! <laughs> <laughs> Feliz Navidad, baby! What? Nothing? Didn't you guys read the back of the instructions? There's a back? Very important. Make sure you have the spirits of Christmas to contain the beast, or you're screwed. Sam and Max, it's up to you to save Christmas! Yep, we're screwed. Hey Sam, what time is it? Let's see. Uh, the little hand is on the freckle and the corncob pipe is on the right eyeball. Already? Where does the time go? Hey Sam, what time is it now? The clock's hands haven't moved since the last time you asked. That's helpful. Finally, a clock that isn't always changing its mind about what time it is. Performance reviews for young children. Naughty Boys and Girls. Christmas Carol, 2. 100,001 Stocking Stuffer Ideas. Performance Reviews for Young Children. Who dares to disturb our... Oh, it's you. You know us? We know all those who have ever ruined Christmas, especially the repeat offenders. Who are you guys? Dig the spirit of Christmas past, brothers. I am the spirit of Christmas present. And that cat's the spirit of Christmas yet to come. He's shy. What's your 20, good buddies? We could use some help saving Christmas. We're not bad people. We've just had bad luck with major holidays. And automobiles. And federal statutes. 
It is your own selfish actions that have brought this to pass. Selfish? We're freelance police. We save the world, sometimes on purpose. You got no clue the bad karma you've built up, man. You will need the combined help of all three of us to defeat the demon. We will show you three Christmases you've ruined. Set them right, and we will consent to help you. Where are you going? I have to get some air! That safe reeks of weed and dilithium crystals. The safe's empty now. It's a record of what people got in their stockings. Jenny A. Nice kid, sock full of toys. Dan F. Means well, sock full of candy. Stephen G. Liar, sock full of coal. Wow, Santa must really hate liars. Yeah, a messy public divorce will do that to you, I guess. Annabelle L. Deceased, sock full of flowers. Richard N. Liar, sock full of coal. Let's see what Stinky's getting from Santa this year. It's full of coal. That's what you get for lying all the time. What do you think you get for reckless disregard for public safety? In my case, I got to be president. Which one are you? Ho, 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 man. I'm the spirit of Christmas past. Boogie on back in time with me. Stop the bad vibes you started with your sticky fingers and fill yourself with the healing nog of Christmas. Don't ever say healing nog of Christmas ever. Ever again. Hey, that's cool, man. We've got to make amends for every bad thing we've done in the past? No way, dude. Rising gas prices and inflation mean we can only help one of them. You cats ready to take a freaky trip to the past? You bet! I want to rub my body all over Mary Curie. And see if you'll glow in the dark? That'd be neat, too. Wild, man. We ain't going back that far, though. Jump in. where the sandwich is, just leave my mom alone. Of course, Leonard, we would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? Here we are in your office in the not-too-distant past. I remember this. This is when we had to retrieve the Toy Mafia's meatball sandwich that Leonard tried to fence to Jimmy. Do we get to beat up Leonard some more? No way, Max. These cats can't sense your presence in any way, Dig? You are here to right a terrible wrong you once committed. We have to stop ourselves from doing Yo Mama jokes? Just watch. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Well, Jimmy? Where's this big score that's gonna change everything? Where's all the money that's gonna save our dear Tiny Timmy? Yes, Daddy. Where the f 
is it? Oh, it's hopeless. The doctors say his Tourette syndrome will kill him if they don't operate soon. Don't cry, Mommy. I'll get the f with the f***ed up f angels. It's all a bust, Mary. Every time I try to make an honest living, Sam and Max smack me down. Oh, sh Jimmy, we were all counting on you. I know, Mary, I know. If only I'd have stuck to boxing, I could have been somebody. Instead of being a rat, which is what I am. So get your lucky boxing glove and go fight! I... I don't have it no more. Sam and Max took it. Again with Sam and Max. If you'd spend more time boxing and less time sitting around watching TV, you'd be champ. Face it, Jimmy. You're a washout. Please don't fight Mommy and Daddy. Daddy's my hero, and he'll make everything right again. You'll see, you f***ing You'll see, you f***ing Call the doctor to ease his suffering. Just get that glove, Jimmy. Our baby doesn't have much time to live. And so, Sam and Max, you see what you gotta do. Beat up Leonard some more? <sighs> so what do we have to do? Can't you rock the signal these cats are sending you, man? The ailing child, the nagging old lady, the boxer who lost his mojo? Rat traps! No, you gotta get him back in the ring, man. Jimmy, stop sitting around and get that glove. I almost forgot about this picture. We should take a picture of it so we never forget it. Wow, Hubert looks so young. The street looks a lot less destroyed. I better not touch it, lest I create an alternate future where coat hangers rule the world. James Tiberius Tutti! You turn that TV off right now! I didn't do nothing! That TV turns itself on and off all the time! You'd expect me to believe that you... Oh! Our penny-conscious tape-eating VCR. I guess it's safe to ignore the calendar. We have a calendar? I remember this lamp. And I remember you telling me its innards would taste of blueberries and cream, you liar! Jimmy, you better not be watching TV we ought to stuff more overgrown babies in Max's desk. Hey, Leonard. We've come back from the grave to haunt you! He can't hear us, Max. Also, we're not dead. Yet! Time travel certainly opens up a world of possibilities, doesn't it? Let's kill Charlie Chaplin and prevent him from starting World War II! But this is our office, and it's only a few months ago. Then we're already too late. Curse you, little tramp! The past is a fascinating place. Come for the low prices, stay for the juicy rodent family drama! Does Christmas hold happy childhood memories for you, Max? Heck no, Sam! All I ever wanted for Christmas was a ruthless Mongol horde! And of course, a complete collection of the My Semi-Attractive Pony set! Bloodthirsty barbarians riding colorful pony toys. I imagine the neighborhood toughs might have given you a little flack for that. <laughs> Not for long! Which was your favorite My Semi-Attractive Pony toy? Oh, I can't decide. Probably Gumdrop, the one with a great personality. Good choice. I always like Cinnamon Stick, the pretty one's best friend. I never knew Jimmy Two Teeth had it so tough. Stuck with no steady job, a family to support, and an apartment he can't afford, but can't leave because he's already sent marked everything. And it can't help having that shrew of a wife. They're a biracial couple? I had no idea. Poor Tiny Timmy. I resolve to do whatever I can to increase public awareness of terminal Tourette syndrome. It'd sure make for some interesting telethons. 
The sooner we fix Jimmy's problems, the sooner we're out of this dump. And back to the present day version of the dump. Jimmy, stop watching TV or I swear I'll leave you. Well, at least we have plenty of time to catch up on our filing. I really thought I'd never have to look at that again. Why do people still use bulletin boards now that we have computers? The push pins would crack the monitor screens. So Jimmy's had a wife and kid in there with him all this time. If there's one thing this has taught me, it's that good fences do not make good neighbors. Don't worry, Tiny Timmy. We won't let Tourette's kill you. Oh wait, he can't hear us. Buck up, Jimmy. We'll get you that boxing glove. Oh yeah, he can't hear us. Well, at least we have plenty of time to catch up on our filing. Ant farms of the past are almost too primitive to recognize. Does standing under Jesse James's hand during Christmas mean we have to kiss? That's mistletoe! Oh. You know, we could probably get some money for this on eBay. Forget it. We'd get paid in $2,006, and those are basically worthless. Some things never go out of style. And some things never go in. Hello? Nah. Jimmy, you better not be watching TV out Not there. happening. No way. No siree. Nothing doing. Most rats would love a maze for Christmas, but this rat only wants his boxing glove. Rats do love mazes, but giving a dying kid a cunningly disguised trap seems cruel, even for us. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Two Teeth. We got you the one gift every rat loves, an impossible maze. Come and get it! Jimmy, if you don't turn off that TV, I'm going to... Hey, where am I? It's hopeless. There's no way out. Don't say that, Mary. We can work it out. I... Mary? She left me. Now I'll never see her again. That... I know, son. I know. Nuh -uh. A tearful family reunion sounds swell, but we better get that boxing glove first. What did you want us to do here again? That rat cat needs to get his boxing gig going again, man. That searchlight makes Santa's workshop feel like a prison. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. So we're agreed. We're getting one for our office, right? You bet! Hey Santa, if you die, who gets the flying sleigh? No one! It's a rental! Now, go get those Christmas spirits! Hey Santa, we're going out. You need anything? Just get the spirits of Christmas! Hey, Santa. What? Nothing. Just wanted to say hey. Stop 
stop wasting time and go get the spirits of Christmas. Hey, Santa. What? Nothing. Just wanted to say hey. Stop wasting time and go get the spirits of Christmas. Nope. No siree. Nuh-uh. Nah. My bullets don't work. They go right through his belly. Which shakes like a latex glove full of jelly. Bull, idiot. Freelance police, hell spawn. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain viscous. Do something! Hey, demon, cut that out! Help! Hey, demon, cut that out! Help! Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Nothing doing. Nope. No, Jimmy's gonna have to do this for himself. Jimmy? Jimmy, what are you doing? Mary? Mary, is that you? Mary! Don't, don't go anywhere! I'll be right down! No, Jimmy! Don't do it! Oh, I... Uh, I thought you were gonna jump! What? Ah, uh, don't talk crazy. I'd never do that, especially not with my best girl here. <sighs> Gee, Sam, I, I think I got something in my eye. Don't pick at it, Max. It's too hard to get back in the socket. Jimmy, I don't know how I got here, but I'm sorry for all the things I said. Don't worry, baby. Now that you're back in my life, Nothing can stop me now. I'm unbeatable. Thanks for the glove, Jimmy. I'm feeling full of the Christmas spirit already. Not happening. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. No way. Look alive, Cheech. We want to go back in time again. Lead on, brother. Nuh-uh. Happy holidays, Jimmy. Hey! Who threw that? What? Could it be true? Timmy, look! It's your pa's lucky boxing glove! Where the f 
did that come from, Daddy? I don't know, son. All I know is I finally got a second chance. It's a Christmas miracle. I ain't never letting this thing out of my sight again. Now, come on, son. Your dad's gonna go punch out some bums and get you that operation. God us, everyone. Way to go, dudes. You saved Christmas past. So let's move on back to the present. Ten four again, buddy. Sam and Max, you made up for your past and helped Jimmy find his way. Now, for your reward. Non-sequential serial numbers, please. I'm just gonna chill in this bottle until you're ready to unleash all three of us cats on that fascist demon. Solid! Nope. Hey, nice portal. Thank you. Now ready yourselves. To save the Christmas of the present, you must go back to the present. The present? I'm so sick of that place. Do we have to? Yes. It's like we never leave. Prepare yourselves for a journey beyond imagination as we enter the present. Sam and Max, witness how your reckless carelessness hurts hey, those Hey, wait a second. This isn't the present. You took us to the past. Past us are standing right there. I know that. Just give it a minute to catch up. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler, blind a toddler, hmm, eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Oh, no. Seriously, we had a totally boss bug summoning toy, and we wasted it on a stupid exorcism. Teen hut! Map two, Sergeant. What? How did you stink bugs find me? This place is great. Baby brother too good to share with his family? Too good to break radio silence to call his mother anyway. Been on important missions, ma'am. Been hanging out with those filthy dung beetles more like me. They don't even speak our language. As long as my family's together again, I'm never leaving. Mayday, mayday. Request immediate evac. Immediate evac. So what? We have to rekindle the bug's love for his family? Teach him what they really mean to him? Oh my, no. Have you seen them? They're awful. You have to get rid of them. Oh boy, I'll go get my stomping boots. Non-violently. Damn. What did you want us to do again? Convince the bugs to leave the diner, never to return. How do we do that? I haven't the foggiest idea. That's why I'm making you guys do it. Ever seen anything more disgusting than a family of cockroaches? One day I examined your left nostril with a magnifying glass while you were sleeping off a marshmallow binge. Never again. Why do I ask you these questions? Do you believe in life after death? In a lot of cases, I don't even believe in life before death. Promise to wait up for me, okay, little buddy? <laughs> oh, Sam. When I die, I'm taking you with me. I can't tell if that's a threat or a compliment. I think of it more as a grim inevitability. The sooner we get rid of those bugs, the sooner we can get back to the present. Aren't we in the present now? Yeah, I'm as confused as you are. Somehow I doubt that. I couldn't eat another slice. The duality of existence, for here or to go. It's a priceless antique, apparently. A virgin yacht wheel. Aloha, shark. If we knew how, we could use this to talk to spirits. 
Uh, Sam, we're spirits. We could just talk to each other. I think we talk enough as it is. Nice tennis racket. Nice idol. That mummy case almost looks authentic. Gandhi? I can't believe Napoleon ate here. I can. He kept his hand on his stomach to keep from throwing up. Stop. Okay. Mother Teresa? It's made of plastic. Just like everything else from L.A. Hey, Abe. Oh, he can't hear us. Hey, Sybil. Oh, she can't hear us. Wizard was here. Ah, yes. I knew I recognized that odor. Anybody else feel that? Sure did. Some kind of angry, violent presence. And strangely familiar. Is that you, Dad? We haven't seen him since the attack of the cleaners. Give us a sign, Father. Hello, sir. He can't hear us, Sam. What is that? It smells like wet ghost dog. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I didn't think it was that funny, but whatever turns you on. I didn't say that. The bug did. No siree. Clark Gable was here. I'm surprised his ears fit through the door. Look who's talking. Hey, Stinky. Oh, she can't hear us. No way. Ghost bullets sound like a great idea, but they don't do anything. Scare anyone if we started playing the jukebox? Probably. Your taste in music scares even me. the smell of snowballs in the morning. Let us return to the present. Bleached snowball. Cleaning crews on all sides! Father, it is you! The butterflies are pinned down! Move out, maggots! Sir, yes, sir! Company, march! What in tarnation? My family, they've retreated! It's a miracle! A miracle! Well done. <clears throat> now, let us return to the present. I must admit your repentance was acceptable. I suppose I can help you after all. Forget that! You gotta send me back! I wasn't done haunting people yet! Oh, Max, you and Sam will be dead soon enough. I'll wait in this bottle until you're prepared to release all three of us to smite the demon. We're really feeling the Christmas spirit now, eh, Max? You bet! I'm excited, disappointed, over-socialized, and more than a little gassy.
So we've got to jump in this portal and save another Christmas, huh? I've seen characters in Japanese RPGs that say more than this guy. I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time I'm right. Wow, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> Somebody help! Spirit, why would you show us this if we were powerless to change our snackless fate? Surely we can alter these shadows before us, perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds, or chips! Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this place. Yeah, I guess that'd work. Why did you bring us here, Spirit? What do we do? Who wins the SEC playoffs? I've got money riding on it. Yes, our future selves are trapped to die on a tiny outcropping of ash surrounded by roiling magma. But what is it we're here to fix? Hey, future me! Would it hurt you to hit the treadmill once in a while? Did you say something, Max? You mean after we're gonna die, it burns, it burns? I'd better start dieting now if I want to be in shape for my inevitable death. You'll crack me up at some later time, little future buddy. Don't I crack you up now, Sam? Sorry, pal. His material just seems fresher somehow. Hey there, sexy! I'll be back to pick you up later! What are we doing here? You mean now us or future us? Either one. Well, future us are trying to keep from wetting themselves at the prospect of imminent death in the fiery pit of lava. Now us are just enjoying the view. See how the magma's glare gives my fur a vibrant sheen? We'd better find a way to save ourselves. Why should we? What did we ever do for us? What if this is the way it ends for us, Max? No way, Sam. I'm either dying in a gunfight or while watching TV. In a perfect world, I'd die in a gunfight while watching TV. Spoken like a true American, little buddy. How far in the future do you think we are? Can't be too far. I don't have the cool handlebar mustache I'm planning to grow in 2024. I was hoping in the future we'd have jetpacks. Maybe future me has one and we just can't see it. Where would he keep it? None of your damn business. Why did you say that? I don't know, Sam. Think we should haunt ourselves, Max? Only if I get to haunt future you and you haunt future me. Otherwise, it'd just be gross. Thanks for this tender moment, Max. Sam, I'm glad you're here with me at the end of all things. How are we doing on fuel? It's running low on coal. There we go. One Santa sleigh fueled and ready for takeoff. Great! Now we can finally bomb Auckland. I was thinking we could use it to save our future selves. Right! In a preemptive strike against the vengeful Kiwis. Get in the sleigh, Buckethead. By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? 
Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Shake that thing! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. I'm gonna miss that sexy beast and his fat tub of lard sidekick. Hey, you could stand to lose a few yourself, smart guy. Well, we saved Christmas for our future selves. Is that all? I guess that means he'll help us take care of our demon problem. What's he gonna do? Give him the silent treatment? No! Stop! Please! Never underestimate the power of passive aggression, Max. Car started in case this doesn't work. Fear us, aimless spirit! Tune out those bad vibes of destruction and get with the spirit of peace, man. Reject violence and anger and embrace the love and brotherhood of the season! <laughs> Bummer. Well, we tried. <clears throat> get him. Santa, you can come down now, man. That's about it for us. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, I hope you boys have learned your lesson. It was a series of honest mistakes, Santa. Keep us on the nice list, and nobody has to see this videotape of you wetting yourself and screaming like a campfire girl. <laughs> you rapscallions, run along to bed, both of you. Ready for visions of sugar plums to dance in your head, little buddy? It'd be better than the night terrors. Ho ho ho! Jello! Sinful. Santa! No! Don't eat the jello! Mm. Oh, I don't feel so good. Evil Santa again? Ah! My arms aren't quite long enough to reach it. Just put the gun down. We don't want to have to hurt you. Ahem, ahem. Sorry, I don't want to have to hurt you. Ready to give up yet? Didn't mean to rush you. Take your time. Ready to give up yet? Didn't mean to rush you. Take your time. My arms aren't quite long enough to reach it. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. It even has the easy light wick. Not now. I'm a little concerned about the heavily armed, demonically possessed gentleman across the room. Let's rush him and brave the inevitable hail of bullets. I'm sure he can't take out more than five of us before we wrestle him to the ground. Actually, I was hoping for an approach where someone survives. Me, for example. Spoil sport. Let's get cracking. It's no use, Sam. Hey, you slimy coward! Stop hiding behind that crate! 
Weren't we doing the same thing, Max? Shh. I think I'm gonna need a bigger gun. I think I'm gonna need a bigger gun. and keep him, please! Great news, Sam and Max! The demon didn't kill us! Oh. Why won't you guys just die? Now it's time we sent this demon back where he belongs! Under an unsuspecting child's bed? No, look at the mailing label. Somebody messed up. It wasn't supposed to go to Santa. It was supposed to go to Satan. Oh! oh. Okay, I get oh. I see what you mean. <clears throat> Everybody, it's almost done. What are you standing around for? We've all got to pull together and save Christmas for the kids of the world. I can do the wrapping. I can do the labels. I can do the urinating. But who could possibly deliver all the toys in time? Godspeed, Sam and Max! Merry Christmas! Good luck! Drink plenty of liquids! Merry Christmas! Say, Max, you think we should have waited for them to load the presents before we drove off? What's the rush, Sam? It's the middle of November! was a fearsome demon Had a very scary form He was the most unholy creature that was ever born Even the other demon Was scared to let him join their games And if you want to meet him You just have to shout his name Thank you. 